Well, welcome back to part two of the Live Center build. And if you haven't checked out part one, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can go watch that one and come back and join me. So I'm going to continue to work with this DCMT insert in this Banggood right hand turning tool and the compound's at 60. Okay, well I've got all the parts completed, so it's time to go ahead and get this thing assembled. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and secure the bearings inside the housing with this uh, Loctite 609 retaining compound. And there's something that I wanted to show you. It's my idea of a poor man's thrust bearing. So what I've got is a hole in here that was drilled out with a center drill. So what I'm going to do to use as a thrust bearing, the poor man's thrust bearing, is I'm going to drop a ball bearing in there. And on the back of the bull center, I also have a 60 degree cone. So basically, this is going to ride on that bearing. And I'm going to give you a different view of it uh, outside of here so we could see what's going on with it. So that's the conical hole I have on the inside of my part. 
And to replicate that, I have this piece of flat bar. Basically got the same thing in it. So how it's going to work is the bearing's going to go in there, the ball bearing. And my part is going to ride right on top of that. So there's going to be very little friction. At least that's the plan anyway. Because if I had this just going up against a flat face on the bottom of my part here, there's going to be a lot of friction. So this is my way of getting rid of the friction and making a poor man's thrust bearing. Of course, it's probably not the proper way to do it. Most of the stuff I do around here probably isn't. But this is just my way of uh, getting around the problem the best I see fit with what I have on hand. So that's how that's going to work. And these bearings are a perfect fit on this shaft so I shouldn't have any uh, radial problems as far as run out goes. Uh, let's get these bearings on with some Loctite and get the show on the road. So we've got the two bearings on. I've got this one side uh, packed with some new grease. So it's ready to go into this guy next. So we'll go ahead and let that set up for a little bit and we'll come back. Okay, so I've got grease already in my conical hole here. So hopefully the grease will go ahead and grab that ball bearing. Perfect. and we'll go ahead and let that set up. Well it's been about an hour and uh, this thing is very smooth. It's looking good. Not a bad looking tool. Now time to find out if it works. So I got a piece of pipe in here about a foot long and we're going to go ahead and give this guy a test trial here. Well, that is a really nice finish on that steel, so I'm pretty happy with this live center. Uh, to get that kind of finish out a foot from the chuck, I think it's doing its job. I'm not going to use it all the time, but it's something I did need here in the shop since I missed out on a job because I didn't have one, so now I do. And as far as I'm concerned, the tools from Banggood, uh, A plus in my book. Uh, the ones that I tried, they all performed well, good surface finish, uh, they did what they said they were going to do.
there's a link down in the uh, description underneath the video uh, for the two items that they sent me and like I said you know they sent them to me free this is my honest opinion based on how the tools performed here in the shop for this particular project so I have no complaints so to the folks over at Banggood thank you very much for sending that over and this is Richard from Making Something From Nothing, and I'll catch you on the next one.